The composer John Williams earned his first Academy Award nomination in 1968 for his score of the film Valley of the Dolls. In the 55 years since, he has been nominated 52 more times, including at tonight's Academy Awards, for yet another project with his longtime friend and frequent collaborator, Steven Spielberg. Williams' last Oscar win came in 1994 with the score for the Spielberg film Schindler's List. NBC Nightly News anchor Lester Holt sat down with Williams for our Sunday Spotlight. From terrors of the deep to visitors from deep space, John Williams' musical scores have lifted us and raised our pulse. John, I have to tell you, knowing I was going to sit down with you this morning, all morning long, I'm hearing your themes Ooh. in my head from some <laughs> of the movies. Dun, 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 dun. What do you think when people start humming back your tunes? Well, no one could ever have guessed it. You know, when you're writing it and recording for a particular purpose, and we finish the film and it's done, you put the music in a drawer. Are you still writing? Oh, every day. I eat and I sleep and I write for a few hours a day. At 91, John Williams is still writing film scores and was recently nominated for his 53rd Academy Award for The Fablements, making him the oldest nominee ever. Is it still a thrill to hear your name? Absolutely. Well, it's now 53 Oscar nominations, which seems unreal that anybody could be that old and working that long. The Fablemans is personal for director Steven Spielberg, a loose telling of his own story. You do what your heart says you have to. And once more, showcasing one of Hollywood's most lasting partnerships between Williams and Spielberg. One thing he is not is a man you can say no to. The pair's work together spans five decades and includes what may be the two most iconic notes in cinema. How did that come about? Well, desperation, but to, to try to characterize the shark somehow musically. And I think mostly it was an intuitive, instinctive thing that it would be low and it would be simple and it could go very slowly, boom, 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 very quick, boom, 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 boom. It could be very soft, it could be definitely loud. And so I just played it to Stephen on the piano and he said something like, you're kidding, aren't you? And I said, no, 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 I think if the cello and bass and the orchestra do that, it would be quite ominous. Let's try it. Williams has won five Oscars. His last win was nearly 30 years ago. I think most people would think you would have won more because your music is so familiar. Well, my wife thinks I should have won more. And someone asked her, Samantha, why do you always wear black dresses to the Oscar? And she says, because we lose every year. <laughs> <laughs> win or lose, John Williams is still harnessing the power of music to bring images to life. I've just been so fortunate in it that, and so truly blessed uh, to work in music. For Sunday Today, Lester Holt, Los Angeles. So much unforgettable music. Lester, thank you very much, and good luck tonight to the maestro. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.